It feels like I have not got on with it nighttime still in a little bit. I feel like it's always been daytime. I'm kind of surprised, but you know what? It's going to happen sometimes. One minute, very, very first thing that I do the second that I get on. Oh, okay. What's large looking like? Okay. Looks like it's looking pretty quiet. Cool. It's all good. Everyone's too scared to go take it because they know that I'm going to be around. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. There's been a lot of newcomers that have came around showing love in the comments saying, you know, that they appreciate like the daily videos. They're new and that, you know, they just appreciate what they're getting. And so, hey, man, I appreciate you for tuning in, watching the videos and everything like that. So thank you. And also thank you to everyone that's just been kind of sticking around, you know? Right now it is 6 p.m. for me, though. Wow, what a difference. Yesterday I got on when it was 3 a.m., today I'm getting on when it's 6 p.m. What's going on? Well, this is actually still the same day that I recorded yesterday's video. And I've just been kind of just prepping up for uh, this upcoming UFC fight, which is tomorrow for me, today for you guys. Um, just because I'm getting into that sport a little bit and just educating myself, and this is actually, it's going to be a pretty fun one to watch. What in the world do I got here? Am I seeing a backwards wall behind this bear rug? I am. What in the world? But I'm seeing twig floors on top of the base. And yeah, I'm seeing a twig. The trap base. I'm dead. I'm dead, like. <laughs> Jesus, man. Do I just shoot to open up the thing, I guess? Duh. Okay, there's weird shit going on in there. I'm getting out of here. Recently, I've been thinking about it, man. Like, we've been going to small oil rig a lot, countering it and everything, right? We've been getting on sneaky, just kind of running at it, getting on there, fighting people, you know? And, you know, the more and more that I am thinking about it after someone talked about it in the comments, dude, countering large does sound fun. Because, like I said yesterday, man, that means most likely, well, I mean, there's probably more bigger teams that go to large than small, you would think. But, um, hey, man, I'm down to fight some bigger teams, and with large, I honestly feel like it's easier to climb on there in a sneaky way than small. I really, really do. You have to climb up at the dock. There's no other way to do it at large. Which I guess is like the one disadvantage compared to small if you really have to go looking for them. But um, with people being elevated so high at large, like high up in the monument, you know, like they're not going to hear you down there, which is awesome. So I feel like large is a very, very good place to make some diving tank plays at. I don't know. Overall, like I'm happy that I've been using the diving tank and like scuba gear and stuff because usually I'm someone that never, ever, ever uses that. Like I've never had like a... A moment in time until now recently like over like the past couple days where i'm actually using it so it's been a lot of fun using it in just like stealthy and sneaky ways like this you know i wonder if anyone's gambling over here at bandit time to go find out oh, i have someone here that's recycling that's for sure all right we got one gambler here and we have one guy with a semi and he thinks that he's cute or something by sitting there you better hope that i don't see his ass leave this place that's all that i'm gonna say now I hear Roman right now, man, and it's a little bit quiet, all right? Is something, like, about to come out of nowhere? I mean, like, there was some bolt guys shooting. Turns out they were roof camping, which is, you know, just kind of the normal thing in this game anymore, you know? It's, well, it's always been kind of the normal thing, I guess, sadly. No one ever learns. No one ever just feels, like, ashamed for playing like that. People just like to be bitches. I don't know. They're like, yes, I want to be a pussy. It's pretty much what roof camping is. <laughs> I need to get back home to my computer station where I feel needed in this world. The computer station is the only thing in this world that needs me, so I need to be there for it as well. Alright, here's my guy. What all do you have a custom on your back, okay. Look at him just like look at me like that. Look at him just like spy on me and he's just like, oh do I follow him? Nah, I'm gonna die no matter what, because I suck. That's what pretty much his thought process just now right there was. I dare his weirdo ass to follow me, man. I dare him. I could just sit out here and wait for that guy, but nah, I got better things to take care of than some little custom wood armor guy. Alright, I'm back. One minute. Someone's gonna be here. Oh, okay, I know. The, the bot's down there. Yeah, okay. Large oil rig, same thing. These. F wow, people are actually that scared of me, huh? <laughs> Ah, Dylan, you're so cute thinking that, like, these players are just so scared of you. What? They are, though. They are scared of me. No, they're not. Yes, they are. This has been a server where I really never hear, like, any raids going down. It's really, really weird. I feel like I never hear anyone, like, 
trying to do like raids in the distance because I would love to go counter. That's something that I'd be really, really down to go do. Right now it's rainy and foggy though, so it's not really a good time to go out and fight. I'm going to just chill on my computer station like a hermit and just like sit here and just watch oil all day long. And by all day long, I just mean until the rain and fog goes away. You guys aren't going to be here for all this though, okay? Don't worry. I'm just going to be chilling right now and I'll come back to you guys when I have something important to discuss or as soon as someone pulls up and then we're about to dip. I wonder if there's people that actually just sit on these cams all day. Because I don't do this, okay? Like, I'm not doing this all day. I'm, I'm just waiting for the fog to clear up. But, like, it, it's kind of just getting me thinking, like, there's probably people that just, like, sit down, do homework, hit their desk, whatever. Then as soon as a boat's, like, pulling up the oil rig, it's like, okay, homework aside, time to go and take care of business, you know? I can see people definitely doing that and just, like, sitting here just swapping back and forth on the cams. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of addicting. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of fun. Oh, what do we got here? Got an MP5 guy over there? Hey, how many people is it? Is it only... Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, no, we need to start heading over now. We need to just go. Is this MP5 going to be good enough? Fuck it. I'm risking it, dude. I really don't care. These dudes are showing up at this place. It says it's dark. Okay. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm going to... Uh, well, I mean, like, my diving tank and stuff. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually not inside my boat. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. Like, I don't even have one. I'm just gonna have to roll up. Which is, uh, you know, semi and MP5 at least against me with an MP5. It's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I still have a diving tank here that I could use, but... I just, like, like I'm not gonna be able to see shit. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't... Ah, oh, God, Dylan. Just go into this with confidence. You got this shit, man. You got this. These guys are nothing. You got this shit. No problem, okay? No problem, guys. Honestly, something I need to start doing, despite the situation that I'm getting myself into, even if it seems like suicide or something that has, like, a lot of false hope, I need to start having so much confidence going into it no matter what. Doesn't matter if I die after it happens. None of that shit matters at all. The confidence is what's going to be winning the fights, I'm telling you. So, you guys are going to start to see me calling out, or, like, saying that, like, I got this. No problem. It's easy. Like, watch this. Like, like this right here, guys, watch how easy this is. I'm telling you. Watch how easy this shit right here is. It's gonna be ridiculous. You guys have never seen it done like this before. Just get ready. Just get ready. Please just get ready. I actually could just wait for him to call in the heavies. They're top floor. Might as well just wait for him to do that. I'm gonna wait for it. Fuck it. Who cares? Like, might as well. Like, that's just, like, strategy, you know? They're gonna hit the fucking buzzer. The Chinook's gonna spawn, and then I can go in for the fucking kills. As, like, the buzzer thing is, like, super, super loud and shit, you know? I'm just gonna go for my ladder spot like I usually do. Come on, please. Yeah, it's coming in. Here we go. Get the fuck up. What are you like? You're right there. Oh shit, dude. One minute. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh wait, he's hiding right there. I can literally fucking push up the ladder right now. Does he not know that I'm right here? He's not looking down. He doesn't know that I'm right here, I guess. I'm just gonna stay quiet. Fuck, dude, now I'm mad that I jumped back over because I could actually push up and kill his ass. This is the MP5 guy. I killed the semi guy. Hey, man, what's up? Do you see me down here? How are you not looking down? As soon as, you, as soon as he goes back around over there on like that side over there, I'm fucking going for it. I think. I just feel that, like I like I just feel like I have to. Fuck me! Can you jump, you fucking idiot? Hey man, what? 
what's up? Now what? Now what? Okay, like, now what? Now what, like, is gonna happen, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen, because I couldn't... These ladders don't work like normal ladders on... Wait. He's still looking to the left. He's not even looking at me. He could fuck me here if he peeks into me, man. Because he has peeking advantage on me. Uh, yeah, like, do you see me or no? Does this guy not know that, like, this... I'm, like, so confused. Like, was he even trying to peek into me right there? Or, like, like, I don't know, like, what even just now happened. I'm gonna be honest. Thank God his MP5 fell up there, though. Um, okay. That was a very, 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 very weird situation. Let me just say that. I don't know, it's like, it's almost like he jumped up here and, like, looked, like, right there for, like, whatever reason. But, it, but like, I saw him look down at me, but he didn't even shoot. He should have shot. I don't know why he wouldn't have. This guy right here has the main stuff for me. These guys are definitely going to be coming back, dude, no question. They're obviously going to be coming back, I feel like. And I'm willing to wait for him and even give him, like, an open chance. And by that, I mean I have to sit here and wait for the Chinook in anyway, so pretty much just already what's going to be happening. Yeah, uh, this guy's semi fell in the water, I'm pretty sure, unless it's up here on the stairs somewhere. I, I don't even know what even just now happened. It looked like the guy tried to peek in me, but he didn't play like he was. He, like, resisted, it almost looked like. I, I, I don't know. I'm so confused, but I'm going to go and kill all the bots real, real quick. This guy has a fresh MP5 for me, which is appreciated. They actually heard me show up, though, man. I'm kind of surprised they heard me over the buzzer thing. And then I see the hazmat guy just rush down. It's like these guys didn't know that the ladder was, like, an option with getting up. That's honestly what they played like. They played like it's not even, like, a way to get up. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be right there. That, that was a bad spot to be in. Holy fuck. I chucked this bean can up there at the last spot. These guys are definitely going to come back. Question is how long is it going to take, you know? Um... Dude, don't really give a fuck about eight explosive bullets. I'd rather take meds, I feel like. And then, uh, HEs already have some of those. Cool. Nice. Kay. Yeah, pretty much just gonna be a waiting game at this point for these guys. And I have MP5, so I guess we'll see where the whole thing goes. I don't know, like, I'm still very, very confused on, like, how that guy was playing that. And, like, I'm pissed off that I jumped, a, like, away... Okay, okay, because I jumped away from the ladder to the other side because... If he knows that I'm there, he could peek into me how he did and easily kill me if he's quick enough. Because he can just peek into me, have peekers advantage. Well, I mean, like, it is a weird angle, to be honest, when I'm pre-aiming it with an MP5. So, honestly, I don't even think that your average player wins that fight peeking, peeking into me, even though they have peekers advantage, right? Because peekers advantage in this game, because there's, like, desync delay. Like, if there's someone standing right there, and I peek right here, I'm going to see him on my screen before he sees me on his. Because there's just, like, that delay in the servers. But with something like this that's like a super weird angle, like aiming down, it just makes it complicated because it's like, it's not as easy as like, let's act like this right here as a player. It's not as easy as just go like that. It's like, go like this and then scoot over more to like aim right there. Like you can't just, like it's not quick like that. At least, you know, like it's going to take like more experience if like you want to be quick with a kill like that, you know, just because the angle's something that like you're just not used to. So, yeah. Oh, I'm seeing a fucking rip right now. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Fucking rib. I'm just gonna be chilling right here at the fucking bottom, bro. They're coming right over here to the dock, too. Oh my god, dude. Are, dude, are they gonna know that I'm here or no? That's my question. You're dead no matter what. You're dead no matter what. Like, GG. Sorry, pal. I'm sorry that it has to be this way. You're gonna just bleed out in the water if you don't push up and do something. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you're... <laughs> uh, 
Oh, God. MP5. Telling you guys, like, that fight right there would have been so different if I had a semi. But it could be said if I had an AK and everything as well. But, you know, it's... I don't know. Just look on you. Okay, nice. And, yes, this is the same guys in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, I just need to start storing meds in here. I'm not going to be taking their rib because I can't store it inside my boat base, so don't even ask about it. And there's going to be people that are like, Why aren't you taking their rib? Because I can't go inside my stupid small boat base. All right, pal, that's why. Do you guys feel bad for them or no? Like, I don't know how you guys feel, you know? And I feel like it's good to maybe get, like, some different opinions kind of, like, floating around. Like, am I a jerk? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just playing a video game, guys. <laughs> This guy just had a custom. Alrighty. Well, I mean, if they want to come back and get their rib in a small boat, that'll still be here for them. Part of me feels bad, but um, there's no point to feel bad at all. No point at all. Zero point to feel bad, Dylan. Just a game, and you and then and you won fair and square, and you know, like that's just what it is. There's no point to get all fucking deep into it and start saying all this different shit on why they lost and just different stuff like that. Just accept it. You won. You're better than them. And that's just what it is. That's just how it is. All right. Watch them come back again. Can you imagine? Do you guys think they're going to come back a third time? I doubt it. I've never seen a team come back a third time. There's been teams that come back a second time and a third time. It's like, nah, it's not happening. Not going to happen. No way. If it happens, then I will literally 362 tap both these guys. I'm getting started on Better Call Saul. I, I think that I ended up getting like four seasons in, which Better Call Saul is the show that came out after Breaking Bad, and it's just, you know, pretty much a show that's just based off the character Saul, you know, which is like a lawyer and whatever. Uh, to anyone that like hasn't watched Breaking Bad and all that, like that's pretty much like what it is. And uh, Saul's an amazing character, funny guy, love him to death. And uh, yeah, like I watched up to season four like two years ago, I think, or like a year and a half ago. But now I'm just going to restart, I think. I'm not really the biggest TV show type of guy, and I'm not ashamed to say that I haven't really seen that much. I've seen Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, uh, The Witcher, which I probably need to rewatch The Witcher, um, Prison Break. Like, I really haven't seen that much. I've seen, like, some of, like, the hit shows, because those are all, like, hit-type shows. Maybe The Witcher isn't really, like, a hit, but... Kinda, it's gonna be most likely. Just cause it's just that, like, that fantasy feeling, it's just dope, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, but, like, the reason that I say, like, I'm, like, happy to say that I'm not heavily in the TV shows is because, <laughs> if you are, man, you are spending so much fucking time doing that shit, man. Like, that, the time of all that TV show watching adds up, and it's like, what is it really for, you know? It's like, it's for entertainment, which is cool, but it's like, I mean, time is money, okay? Time is money, and that's why I'm not trying to fucking spend my time doing that shit, because then, at that point, I start to slack with YouTube and shit, and yeah, that just does not need to be a thing. Not at all. That cannot be a thing with me, because I'm someone that gets, like, when I start watching a TV show, I get crazy addicted. Like, badly addicted. For like what I need to be doing, or like, or, or uh, for like what I need to be occupying myself to do every single day, aka Rust, YouTube, staying up on top of shit, whatever, and exercising now. Like in TV shows, with me personally, man, they make me just say fuck all that. I'm just gonna do everything last minute, and if not last minute, not at all. And YouTube is never a not at all, but. I get, like, like, YouTube always gets done no matter what. Uh, but yeah, and, like, I don't even need hazmats. I'm just gonna drop the fucking hazmats, dude. I don't give a fuck. I don't need no frickin' hazmats anymore. He's there. He's there. I'm joking. I'm just imagining just, like, a new viewer, like, brand new to the channel, f watches this video as, like, their first video, and then, like, they just see stuff like that, then he's like, oh, man, oh, man, where is he? Where's the guy? That he oh, he's joking. <laughs> because they just don't know me, you know? And, like, it's just, I don't know. Anytime that that thought comes to my mind, just, like, a new viewer coming over, I'm, like, I'm always, you know, talking about certain things and just, just different things, and, and, you know, it's, like, the person that watches me, like, a good amount understands, like, a lot of, like, the inside jokes and just different stuff like that, my personality and everything. Like, a brand new viewer might be, like, kind of complicated to kind of, like, know what's going on without actually, like, starting to watch every single day and actually studying, you know? By studying, I mean binging. There's people that come back after not watching for three months and they're like, yeah, and, uh, eventually I'll catch up on the videos. I have to watch all the three months that I missed, <laughs> which is literally nine, wait, yeah, 90, 40 minute videos. So yeah, that's a lot of fucking time to catch up on. Jesus. 
It's actually insane, man. Like, I was looking at, like, my YouTube analytics, and it says that, like, in, like, the past 28 days, people have watched, like, 13.4 million minutes of me. It's just disgusting to think about. It's insane. 13.4 million minutes. Alrighty, well, we're now back home. We got all the loot. Let's go ahead and bring it all, uh, back to... Back to our home, I guess. I don't know if it's really been, like, uh, affecting, like, the viewing experience, by the way, by not showing, like, the external of my base and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's been something that, like, I've kind of been doing over, like, the past week-ish now, I want to say, on here. Is there any metal frags that are out here? <sighs> nope, I gotta open up the vault. Here we go. Wow. I have to do all this work. <sighs> Whoa! Easy loot, baby! Let's go! Wait, this isn't even my loot. This is like an oil rig run or something. What the hell? Usually this cheater is just like building plan hammer, but anytime like I start to like expand out my base and stuff, then he starts to have like more stuff, it seems like. Which is, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Cool. Fucking cheater, man. He always just comes over and just drops shit off for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I actually forgot. I need to go and get stuff out of my boat. Almost forgot about that. Silly goose, man. All right, yeah, I need to, uh, wait, where's, where's a hammer? Where's a hammer? Oh my god, I feel lost without a hammer. Ugh, there's no hammer there. Look inside here. Ugh, no hammer. Ugh, yes, okay, thank god. Oh, oh, oh my god. I'm fucking jumping and hitting E, man. Fucking pissing me off, man. Fucking pissing me off. Pick it the fuck up, then you put it the fuck down, okay? What the fuck's that? Put the fuck back down now. No, just put it down, please, just put it down. That's me kind of freaking out and getting insanely, insanely angry, guys. Oh, Dylan, we can tell, we can tell, buddy. We have a lot of metal. Cool, nice, it's great. Four boxes, sure, man, why not? Sherman. Sherman, why not? That's a new thing that we're able to say that, like, Sherman or Sherman, like, because Sherman is a... I don't know if that's, like, a name or, like, what that is. What's a Sherman? Or is Sherman just a name? Like, I don't know. It's not a shepherd. A shepherd is something that, uh, you know, takes, like, wool off sheep and whatever. And I just know that from Minecraft, so I hope that's accurate. Minecraft's out here teaching, you know, 200 IQ people like me, because I know everything about the world except for the little bullshit things like that, you know? So I have to learn somehow, and, you know, Minecraft teaches me, you know, what shepherds are, and, you know, cows and chickens and, you know, diamond swords are. Right, let's come over here. What skin am I feeling right now? Am I angry, or am I just, like, a toy and just, like, kind of happy, you know? Like, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not angry. I'm feeling okay right now. Let me just look at the frickin' cams right now. Okay, their rib is still here. How's large looking? Okay, I thought that I heard player footsteps. Yeah, no, it's just the bots. Okay. I feel like I should uh, take my boat over to the place where, like, you can get a boat and buy more diving gear. I already have fins, but I, uh, I need more... I mean, like, I don't really need more tanks, because I can just refill these, obviously. But I need more goggles and fins overall, and I feel like I need more sets ready to go. So I think that I'm going to go and drop some scrap on that here in just a minute. Which, actually, here a minute, let me actually just make this right here. I'm going to make a uh, bag for inside of this place, because, yeah, that'll be nice to have, like, if I get raided or something. Because I have, like, this little bit of stuff in here, a little bit of stuff to just get started. It's not even, like... This is nothing compared to inside my main base, so I don't even, like, feel any type of way about this being left in here. Just a little bit of bullshit from the oil runs, you know? Nothing new, guys. Nothing new. The king has his uh, small shack with his bullshit leftover poopy-ass loot inside of it, okay? This shit means nothing to me. But, you know, if we end up getting raided, then, you know, maybe I can fall back on a couple semis or something. We'll see. It depends if someone gets smart-ass and raids my boat base with my man, you know? We'll see. Uh, it feels so good to just have another, like, some boxes that are just open and just ready to, like, depot inside of. I like guys, I'm never organizing my base ever again in history, alright? Never, ever again. Because, uh, yeah. And by that, I mean I'm going to do it again. Not this base, I don't think. Because this is a fucking pigsty. This, this shit is just awful. Anyway, where's all my diving tanks at? Um, oh no, I already have goggles and fins right here. Ah, cool, man. Look at that. Nice. Goggles have durability? I did not know that. Goggles have duradility? I did not know that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Goggles have duradility. 
Alright, there we go. Maker great again. So satisfying to just fill up your wizard's barrel with, uh, you know, the good old workbench, you know, take out the hammer, smash her up, and then she's all good. Okay, oil rig is still not, like, respawn, but I'm just wondering if these guys are gonna show up here, man. That's what I'm wondering. No one's going to large, because everyone's too scared. I will catch these guys here again, and I will fucking drop their ass. I will. I actually have 500 low grade, man. I'm getting, dude, like, I'm tempted to just go outside and do a little bit of flame raiding right now, man. Here's the flamethrower, though. Let's go out and, uh, do a little bit of raiding. <coughs> Sneezed, like, frickin' 20 times today, man. Am I getting diabetes, or what's going on? Alright, so let's go ahead and get inside this place. Uh... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dylan. Uh, so he has the mailbox, so he's definitely juiced out inside this place, no doubt. Um, yep, table inside there, yeah, he's juiced out. Nah, but like, he has that door up there that's sheet, but then he also has this door. This one's key locked, that one's code locked. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just get inside this one right here, though. And I just now spent 100 low grade on a wood door because I'm out of the groove of flame rating, so I apologize. Watch it still not break, though. Ah, oh, it's actually not gonna, man. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Alright, that should be good. There we go. We're all the way in, right? Oh my god, dude, no way. One more door, and then we're all the way in. We're all the way in, guys. No way. That'll do it. That's 87 low grade on the fucking. Actually, no, that's 77 low grade, actually. Damn it. I fucked up. There we go. Eat up this quick pumpkin, and alright, what's going on inside of here? I'm getting inside your loot today, pal. You're in trouble. <laughs> your base sucks, man. I slept in a better place than this when I was out in fucking Afghan the other fucking, uh, year. I just have to roleplay out like an older man, so like I just, like, I don't really know what to say there, you know? Alright. Open. Boom. Open. That door better fucking open. You piece of shit ass door. Yep, and I'm hearing someone speed past my house right now in real life. Nice. Please just let the TC be unlocked. Getting, it's getting extremely, extremely weird. Just don't even fucking make it. Don't fucking do it. Alright, fine. I'll just drop you then. It's fine. Oh, don't do it. Don't, oh, do, oh, it. don't do it. You invaded my land, fool. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be juicy. Like, you already know. It's just gonna be good. What the fuck is going on, man? What is happening already? Okay. Okay, alright. Whatever. 530 GP, GG. A little bit of that right there, and then code lock TC, okay. Oh shit. Yeah, you guys just need the. What the fuck is going on? Is this Wobbler Central? Am I seeing some reactive targets over here that have the skin of a player on them? I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at fucking... I don't know what the hell I'm looking at over here. What the hell was that? Got Ronald and fucking Dolly Corey over here fucking wobbling, dude. What the hell just now happened? I am so confused, and people ask me, Dylan, what server are you on, dude? It's fucking all bad players. I'm on an official server. Like, what the fuck do you want me to tell you? Like, this is a normal server. I'm going up against Game Boy players. They're playing Rust on Game Boy, and it's cross-platform. Oh, and I just now got low grade from them and then didn't finish the TC. Oh my god, Dylan. So I made my way back over here, and there was a semi-hazmat guy nearby, and I don't know where he is. Are you inside there? I don't want to have to hurt you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Just imagining if someone was actually in here. And I saw a, uh... 
hazmat semi guy like running like right there. I think that he might live right there actually. It looks like a juicy small base. Front door is a sheet door, then the entire thing is like armored and sheet. That would be a base that I only go through doors to actually try and get everything. I heard you outside, fool. Don't you think that you can fool me? <laughs> he just rushes in Ioka and just kills me. That would be the weirdest shit ever. Alright. I don't think anyone's out here. Okay. Cool. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh! Oh, God. Someone is actually here. I Trust me, I can tell if it's... It's the same guys, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain. Wait, am I seeing an AK? Oh, dude, it's fucking three dudes. Holy shit, dude. Dude, we gotta go for it. Look at these guys just, like, stand around. Like, what are they? This guy's dead. He's dead. That guy's dead. Okay, he's luckily not dead because he's getting fucking carried. Holy shit. Okay, I need to go there now. This right here is actually, like, a fucking stealth mission, guys. Get ready. Like, this is gonna be a 1v3. I've yet to win a 1v3 here. I've won all my... Pretty much all my 1v2s and 1v1s. I've lost one 1v1, and it was, uh... I whiffed. That's all that I'm really gonna say. Nothing else really has to be said about it. So yeah, that right there ended up happening. That right there was just pretty much me dying, like, right next to my base. There was, like, a three-man team outside. And, uh, yeah, they ended up getting my diving suit and everything like that. So now I actually don't have diving gear. So I'm just gonna have to head there on my boat just with an MP5 and just roll up. So, yeah, here we go. We're gonna see where this goes. Although I don't have my diving tank to make, like, well, I mean, like, the sneak play wouldn't have really... Well, I mean, like, it would have worked better than this, I feel like. But it, were, but it really wouldn't have been too much different. They would still hear me be splashing in the water regardless. It just would have guaranteed me a spot on the oil rig. But with this, with this right here being like what's happening, it's gonna be uh, more complicated to actually climb onto it. So um, if I can just get my boat underneath it and climb on, then that's good enough for me. But at the same time, I'm gonna have to, I mean like these guys have Thompson's and MP5. So yeah, it's gonna be a fucking battle on Dylan. No, no, Dylan, remember what you said earlier? You got this, no problem, GG. These guys are all dead. Like, it's just how it is. Just how it is, man. You hold this shit down like nothing, okay? These guys don't stand a chance against you. It's just how it is. It's just what it is, and that's just, like, what? You know? Fuck, man. Like, these guys got bolts and stuff, man. Like, if they see me coming in, then I'm fucking dead. You realize that, right? Nah, Dylan, Dylan, you're not, though. Like, that's what you don't get. Like, you're not dead. I know where I need to approach it from. It's gonna be such an unexpected angle for these guys. There's no way they're gonna predict it. Unless they saw me go in this direction already, and they're just aiming toward, like, this direction, then they're gonna get me, most likely. But if they didn't see me, then they're, they're not gonna predict this direction. I doubt it. Yeah, let's just go do this shit. Get it over with. I'm already seeing them on the fucking helipad right now, so... Ah, God, here we go. They're gonna hear me. Nice and loud, man. They're gonna hear me nice and loud. Oh, God, man. Here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna just try climbing onto this bitch. Imagine if they just didn't hear me somehow just now. I mean, they're being dead fucking quiet, bro. They're being, like, ultra quiet. I'm hearing, like, little fucking noises and shit. Okay. Yes, so there's one there. There's one over there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy right now. Get ready. You're dead, okay. That guy did have like full metal armor. So I'm gonna go for it, I think. It could be armor that literally like wins me the fucking fight. You feel me? Like 
course it's like just barely like far away enough to just be like annoying to loot to where it's gonna make like a water noise if they hear me in the water then i'm gonna fucking die like because then they because then they're like oh he's in the water push down you know what i mean like that's the problem fuck it who cares Fuck these hide boots. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just attempt to climb up this shit right over here, I'm pretty sure. I think, okay? That's what I'm gonna attempt to try doing right now. That, that guy tried falling down on this, making a play right there, but he, he failed, so. I mean, like, that's one dead, though, which is really, really good. We usually have these 1v2s on lock, bro. But at some point, someone has to pull the trigger, and if I'm the one that has to, then, you know... Like, you know what I mean, guys? Like, I'm not trying to do this fucking sitting around bullshit. Oh, yeah, like, there's one that's, like, right there, dude. Jesus. These guys are playing so passive, it just makes me feel like they're bad. I have to climb all the way up this shit. So, at some point, like, you just have to pull the trigger with it and just fucking rush for it and just... Hopefully they don't freaking get you. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try going for it right now. And just say fuck it. I mean, I've made it past the hardest part possible so far. Yeah, I'm going for it. That guy's right there, okay? So helipad and then over there. guys are being so careful, man. It's insane. It's like, someone has to push at some point, though, you know what I mean? Thank fucking God, dude. Good job pushing, going for it, but sadly I was not behind that exact spot. And yeah, they're going to come back. They're going to try. They're going to attempt it. Trust me, their first teammate has been on his way back for like fucking 10 minutes. So he's probably going to be like, yeah, yeah, sure, man. Just get in the boat right now. I'm going to try and pick you guys up. He might come here alone, honestly, because that took me a long time to kill his teammates. So <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, thank fucking God that worked. And I like on how they left like one thing inside of it to like maybe like try and like fool me that like they didn't loot it or something. But they still just went for that shit instantly. Who knows? Their fucking teammate could be on board right now for all that I know. I killed that guy a while ago, which is why it's kind of scary. Yeah, maybe maybe he's not here. Okay, I'm going to go down here to like the very, very bottom. Oh, nice. Right as I'm not up top. Oh, no. He's actually going to land up there too. Okay, one minute. Are you up here? Oh yeah, you're up here. You're dead. That's it, it was only one guy. I thought that he landed on fucking helipad, which he did, but it was definitely only one guy. I know that it was. I thought that I saw someone with more than just a hazmat, but you know, this right here was the very, very first guy that I killed. I'm very, very certain of that. And what all did you bring? An AK, damn, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm very, 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 very certain that it was only one. I'm, I'm very, very confident. And if I'm wrong, then Russ God's punished me. I swear that I only saw one person inside that bitch, though. If I get shot from somewhere, then it's a little bit, you know, annoying, I guess you could say. But the question is, are they going to go for it? Or, like, or like, are the other two guys going to go for it? Like, I'm surprised he didn't try and pick up another one of his teammates. 
But the extra C, I mean, it's like he was already on his way here when his teammates died for sure. But, <laughs> holy fuck, dude, let's go. Holy shit. And, like, I was the aggressor there, too. Like, I had to be. Well, I mean, I didn't really have to be. I could have been a passive little bitch and just hid and camped at, like, their boat or something, you know? I could have done that. It's not that hard to play like that, but there's no learning in that, so I have to just be risky and just go for it. Yeah, that's all that. Let me come over here and loot this guy now. Or loot the rest of him, because I didn't really loot all of him before. Okay, and then his his MP5 is like the bottom of the ocean, so... And I guess that's pretty much it, man. Time to fucking bail. Let's fucking go, guys. Let's go, dude. Oh, dude, let's go. And, and honestly, I don't know if it's like... Like, I'm telling you guys, feeding yourself positive energy... It does a lot. It does a lot. Like, that shit speaks volumes, and, like, the fact that I won that after I was saying, yeah, yeah, no, no, Dylan, just shut up. You're going to win this shit right here no matter what. It's happened both times now, you know? Don't get it wrong. Like, I've been winning fights before without saying that. Well, I mean, like, I've kind of been saying it. I'm always rolling up the oil rig with confidence, but I was about to say some self-doubting, like, type of shit since there was three guys here because I haven't actually won a fight against three guys on oil yet. And, uh, yeah, and I actually forgot their guns, so I'm gonna need to freaking go back there and get the rest of their shit. So, yeah, one minute here. I'm gonna go back Home Depot, then rush back over there as fast as I can and, uh, get the rest of their shit, or at least try to. Man, I do, like, making your way up and down like that right there, a lot of people don't expect it because, like, when they hear your footsteps going up it, they don't always just think that, oh, yeah, it's directly underneath the helipad. It's not really what people always think at all. They just hear footsteps that are like kind of like underneath them. They can't really just be like, oh yeah, it's underneath the helipad. Some people can think that, but a good amount of people don't. Oh my god, all the meds. <laughs> There's just so many. Alright, so this guy, oh yeah, his MP5's up there. Okay, yeah. Don't worry guys, I'm here to get it all. And what kind of gun did this guy up here have? Wait, did I just say what kind of gun did this gun up here have? I'm not really too sure. I might have just now said that, I don't know. Looking around for his gun. I, well, I mean, honestly, I might have grabbed this guy's gun, but a part of me does not feel like I did. I was, like, looking down, and I swear that it was the Thompson guy, but I don't... I didn't get a Thompson, I don't think. At least I don't think that I did. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where his gun's at. Unless I got it. I might have gotten it, but I don't think that I got it. Oh, no, it's right here. Duh. So, yeah, two MP5s, Thompson. Mission accomplished. And by mission accomplished, I mean there's still an MP5 down in the water that uh, I don't really want to go get because I have to go and buy a diving tank and everything because I ended up dying with the other one. So, that whole situation might have been blurred out as I died with it. Um, probably was. Uh, but yeah, when I had died, I, uh, had lost a diving tank and just an MP5 gear set, hazmat. So it's not like it was, like, really a big loss, it was just, you know, shot from the side, okay, life goes on. I yeah, know, let's go ahead and get inside this thing, let's go, nice. Still do have 2C4, huh. 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 Sorry, I just have to act like a, uh, oh yeah, no, dude, I actually need to buy the pixel rock. Ben, I like that right there was my, uh, villager impression from Minecraft. Uh, yeah, you know, I guess that it's okay. Looks better in the picture. This is like insanely just, I don't know. Like if all like the, the tan stuff right there was actually like dark brown, like the stuff in the center, like actual dirt in Minecraft, I would like it more. I don't like on how it's tan. Like it's half dirt, half sand or something, you know? Then there's like a, dude, look at the freaking waterfall right there. What the fuck? I mean, now I have a rock skin, and listen, guys, it represents Minecraft, which is an amazing game. It actually just got updated recently, and I'm not ready to play yet because that's a game that I always have my phases with. I always go back to it here and there, you know? I'm starting to get hot, guys. I'm gonna, I, Honestly, I might need to end this video. It might be 30 minutes. I don't give a fuck, though, man. I'm fucking hot, and it's getting late, and I need to get to sleep so that I can actually wake up tomorrow morning, edit up this video, then stay, uh, then get another video done, edit it, and then fucking make it in time for that UFC 263 so yeah i think that i might just see you guys tomorrow okay this was a good session though this was fun it was a good time it, it wasn't as long of a session as normal but it's like 8 40 right now and i need to freaking get to sleep and turn on the air conditioner man because i'm fucking hot guys and when i'm hot i'm hot okay 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. If this video was 30 minutes, I mean, like, I don't, like, really care, because, like, 30 minutes is, like, my minimum mark. Yeah, recently, I've been busting out fucking 40 to 50 minute videos, and honestly, this one right here might be 50 minutes for all that I know. I don't fucking know. It might be. There's There's been some of these, like, three, three and a half hour sessions, three hour sessions that I do occasionally, and they still turn into 50 minute videos. Literally a 50 minute video of mine comes out of a three hour session, which I think is kind of disgusting. I think that makes me cool, guys, okay? Am I cool? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to go... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go store some stuff upstairs and seal off this TC, this vault, the windows up top, and then I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new and beautiful and amazing brand new day. And uh, if you made it here to the end of this video, comment trio because, hey, man, we ended up doing decent against that trio over there at, at uh, Oil Rig, man. We did decent over there. And I'm happy with the damage that we ended up putting in. And, uh, yeah, now oil rigs actually respawned, and I'm getting the fuck off. So, anyone that's coming here, they're lucky as fuck that they don't have to be dealing with me right now, alright? They're lucky. They are lucky, because I would go there, and I would shit on them, okay? And I would take all their shit, like always. But yeah, comment trio if you guys made it here to the end. I will see you guys next time. You guys have a good day, good night. Whatever time it is for you, have a blessed rest of your day. And, uh, <laughs> bye, dude.